Hey, it's Trevor. For almost four and a half years of doing print on demand, I've explored countless research and design tools, some free, some paid, that have helped me grow my online businesses. In this video, I'll share the tools I'm still using and plan to keep using in 2025. Some of these paid tools offer free version or trials, and I'll let you know which ones I use. Before diving into the tools, I want to quickly show you a chart of my yearly earnings across the four platforms I work with, Amazon Merch On Demand, Sazzle, Redbubble, and TeePublic. As you can see, there's growth across all platforms, but there are some key points I want to highlight. Amazon Merch On Demand had a significant jump in 2024, which makes sense since I focused most of my efforts there. Sazzle, on the other hand, saw a slight drop compared to 2023, mainly because I didn't put in as much work as I should have last year. Interestingly, even though I've barely touched Redbubble and TeePublic over the past two and a half years, both have continued to grow year after year. I won't dive too deep into this chart today, such as what happened to the Redbubble company in 2022, but I can explain it in more details in another video. For now, let's get into the tools I use to make this growth possible. I'll also list all the tools and even a few that I won't cover in this video in the description below. Let's start with research tools. The first one is Google Trends. That's a classic and completely free tool for niche research. From time to time, I use it to check what's trending, seasonal, or evergreen across different time frames as well as keywords comparison. For example, Golden Retriever, Corgi, and Labrador. How popular among them on Google, the largest search engine in the world, in the past 30 days in the US. And I can find the results very quickly with a chart and their top keywords. So definitely take advantage of this free tool to get more insights for niche research. The next one is AMC Suggestion Expander. It is a free Chrome extension with a pay option. It can expand Amazon search results to show related keywords and product ideas. It is very helpful to find popular phrases quickly in the Amazon marketplace. Their pay plan will unlock the estimate monthly search volume right next to each keyword. I've only used the free version so far, but I can see how the pay version would be even more powerful. And the next one is a Chrome extension called Merge Research Free. It is a convenient tool for niche research using Google Chrome. I use it often just by highlighting keywords I'm interested in at any time, and in just two clicks, it will bring me to the Amazon page and show me the results about that keyword quickly. This tool has other features that I haven't tried, but you're welcome to add this Chrome extension and test them out yourself. The next one is another free Chrome extension called DS Amazon Quick View. When I have it on, just hover over the product thumbnails on Amazon and a pop-up window will give you some important data. I use it to find out existing product bestsellers rankings and their published dates when doing my niche research. This quick overview feature saves me plenty of time when researching Amazon products. The last free Chrome extension I want to talk about in this video is Productor for Merch by Amazon, which was the original name before it's changed to Amazon Merch On Demand. This one is feature packed with tools for research on the Amazon website, design uploads with helpful edit functions such as product color selections, price settings, and trademark check when writing product descriptions. Also a detailed performance tracking to see how my business is doing. I use it regularly for Amazon Merch On Demand, but I won't go into too much details here because it's too much to cover. It is a powerful online business tool on Amazon that is free. This is recommended if you're serious about Amazon Merch On Demand. The next one is ChatGPT, a popular AI tool that is free with a pay option. I use it on a daily basis for many things such as design ideas and learning more about different niches, writing better product descriptions, etc. And since English is not my first language, this has been super helpful to me. I'm tempted to use the play plan for more unlimited use and features, but I'm still using the free accounts for now. Next one is Glyph, a free tool to create your own AI art generator using resources like Flux Pro. You are limited to 20 prompts daily, but it's still great for quick AI designs. Let me give you a quick walkthrough on building an AI art generator and using it to create a design. First of all, you will create a free account by clicking on the sign in button at the upper right hand corner. And you can sign in with your Google or Discord account. For this demonstration, I will use my Google account. Once I chose my account, I will click on the continue button. And on the next page, I will come up with a username that is available for my account. Once it's done, click on the confirm username button and I'm officially in. Now it is time to build your first AI art generator tool. Click on build on the top menu. Then go to the plus icon to add a block. Choose the text input option. Give your input a name and I will just go with prompt. Then come up with a command and I will simply say write your prompt. Now click on the next plus icon to add another block. Choose image generator this time. Scroll down the page and what I need to do next is to click on the prompt tag to call the action. 
Then click on the down arrow for the image generation model to open the drop down menu. Choose Flux Pro. There are also different image sizes I can choose from, but for this demonstration, I will stick with the Square HD 1 by 1 aspect ratio. Scroll up to the page to find the glyph testing area. Type in a prompt as a test. I want a t-shirt design of a cat wearing sunglasses with the text male below. Click on the run this glyph button and wait for a bit. As you can see, it is working beautifully. Now I want to give this new AI tool a name at the upper left hand corner of the page. And I have ImageGen dash plus pro just to be clear which model I'm using. I will leave the description section as is. Just click on the publish button and it is done. Now go to your profile icon and go to your glyphs. You shall find your newly created AI art generator on the page. The next tool is Ideogram. You can sign up for a free account, but I started using the Plus Plan a few months ago. It is amazing for creating designs with text graphics, which is ideal for print on demand. The free users receive 10 credits weekly, that's allowing up to 40 images. I upgraded to the Plus Plan for private generations and higher quality results. Not only that I get better graphic outputs, but they are also private, which means other users cannot view my works. With the Plus Plan, I receive 1000 credits each month, that's 100 times more than the free plan. What I also like is they have a mobile app, so I can generate any new design I'm inspired by on my phone anytime, anywhere. The next one is Vaxos, and they offer a 7-day free trial, but I paid for the Merch lifetime plan during the flash sales about 2.5 years ago. The Merch starter plan is a great option, allowing you to download 30 professionally designed pieces by their designers each month. You can also request specific designs from these skilled designers, which I still haven't tried yet. Their library is full of designs in various styles, making it easy to find something for different niches. At the end of last year, they introduced an AI design tool, but I haven't explored it yet. It's great to see Vaxos constantly improving their platform with new features and staying updated with the latest design trends. The next one is Creative Fabric Car. You can sign up for a free account or an annual subscription. I haven't subscribed yet, but there are already plenty of free resources for me to download. Simply go to the freebies or gifts page to find free fonts and graphics that I can use to create new designs for my print-on-demand shops. The freebies page is open for everyone to use just by signing up for a free account. And the gifts page is particularly great because they offer fonts and graphics that are heavily discounted or free daily. I've bookmarked this page to make it a point to check daily or whenever I have time to collect useful resources for free. The next tool is Merch Informer, and it is the same developer that built the Productor Free Chrome extension. It is perfect for analyzing search volume of different keywords on Amazon and Google as well as Etsy. There are many other useful features such as Niche Hunter that will give me a list of popular keywords with top ranking designs. Competition Checker that can show me results of the keywords in an easy to understand grading system. Merch Hunter that I can filter out brand names for more effective research. There is Prima Alert and many more, but I won't go over them in this video. I purchased the Lifetime Pro plan as an early adopter 4 years ago, and it's been well worth it since I've been using it fairly often. The newbie plan is sufficient for most users, and they offer a free 3-day trial, so you can just sign up and test it out. And you can also use my affiliate code FFSTYLE to get 20% off. That means it will become $7.99 per month instead of $9.99, or it will be about $6.65 per month if you choose the annual plan. The next tool is Placeit. I subscribed to their yearly plan about the same time with Merch Informer. And you can also sign up for a free account to test it out. It is a versatile tool for creating quality mockups, graphic designs, logo templates, banner designs, and even videos. I use it for their realistic mockups and promotional contents on platforms like Pinterest, Instagram, and Facebook. It offers print-on-demand design templates, although I haven't used it for that purpose as much yet since I've been relying on other tools. With a free account, there are already thousands of free templates you can use and try out. The large library and the flexibility it offers for both mockups and custom graphics makes it well worth the investment to me. The next one is Recraft, and you can sign up for a free account. It is a versatile AI tool for art generation, mockups, background removal, vectorizing, and more. I primarily use the free features for quick tasks like background removal, touch-ups, and vectorizing. The graphics created with the free plans cannot be used for commercial purposes unless you subscribe to their pay plan. But since I already have other tools for creating graphics, I don't feel the need to pay for this one yet. That said, it's a powerful tool that's definitely worth considering if you're in need of its advanced features. 
Up next is Factorizer AI, and I'm on their monthly plan just about two months ago. It is by far the best factorizing tool I've ever used. It uses AI to analyze an image before converting it into a vector graphic, which I believe is the way to go. Simply drag and drop an image you want to vectorize, and the process will start right away. Once the result is up, you can compare it side by side to see if everything looks right. There are more adjustments you can do on here, but I'm not going to cover it in this video. From here, I will click on the download button on the top of the page. And on the next page, here is the settings for the vector graphics that works for me. You can have a look. Once everything is set, hit the download button to save the file onto the computer. Next, I will open the vectorize graphic with Adobe Illustrators or other similar apps. I will work on improving the graphic if necessary. And in this example, I want to make the eyes of the cat face look better, as well as having the background color removed or hidden. And I will do all of that in Adobe Illustrator. So as the final result, I have a fully scalable graphic that was originally a low resolution image. I am using the web app for $9.99 per month and the tool has been very helpful to me. The next one is Pixian.ai. It is a companion tool to Vectorizer.ai that is designed specifically for background removal. It's specifically useful for graphics that are not suitable for vectorization. Same thing here, just drag and drop the image you want the background removed. And in no time, it is ready for you to download the result. Open the image and you can see the result is pretty decent. I paid just $5 for 250 credits, which allows me to remove backgrounds from about 520 images. I like this tool, it's affordable, efficient, and a great addition to my workflow. And the next one is dgb.lol. It is a completely free tool with all kinds of editing features such as upscaling, retouching, and converting. So far, I mostly use the AI retouch and AI image upscaler features. The only downside besides seeing ads is the variable wait times for completing a task depending on the site traffic. Many times I have to wait for hours for one task, but for free users, it's a great option. And as for the design and editing software, I am using Adobe Illustrators and Photoshop simply because these are the tools I've been using since my corporate job over 17 years ago. However, I'm still using the CS6 version at home, which were the last versions available for one-time purchase before Adobe moved to a subscription model. While Adobe now requires a subscription and you don't want to invest in it, there are a few alternatives. There is Inkscape for Vectorworks Lite Illustrator that is free to download for both PC and Mac. There is Affinity Designer, also like Illustrator, that allows us to make a one-time purchase to own the tool. There is PhotoP, a browser-based alternative to Photoshop that is popular. It is free to use with optional upgrades. There are a few other tools I've used but won't dive into today, like Leonardo.ai. It's excellent for creating detailed graphics, especially for posters and wall art. I've also heard great things about Kiddo, which I haven't tried yet. It's known for its high quality and customizable graphic design options. I'll explore these tools more in depth in a future video. That's it for today's video. I've covered the tools I'm still using and the ones I find worth paying for in my print-on-demand business. I hope this was helpful. If you have any questions or suggestions for tools, let me know in the comments. Hit like if you find this video helpful, subscribe if you haven't already, and turn on the bell to notify you of new updates on this channel. Thanks for watching and I will see you in the next video.